Greetings, and welcome to the third installment of Side Notes. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I know I said I'd do them on the weekend, but I couldn't think up a topic for today's episode, so I was at a loss all day. I couldn't think of anything yesterday, so we're just going to go ahead and do Side Notes. And what that is, is just, yeah. <laughs> It's just me talking about whatever. Nothing spiritual, or it could be spiritual. I haven't, still haven't decided that either. I just, I feel like I'm letting myself down by not doing something today. I mean, I could just ramble on about nothing for a half an hour. But Side Notes is a 10 minute show, so. Thank you for granting me 10 minutes of your time to blather on about whatever the hell I'm about to blather on about. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, yeah, I still don't know what in the hell I'm supposed to talk about today. I just, I just brain freeze, creative block kind of thing. Sure, it happens to everybody, but as the saying goes, this has never happened to me before. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can at least last 10 minutes. <laughs> Ah, uh, so mundane items. I got a mundane topic. Not really mundane, but it could play both ways, actually. I'm a video gamer. I play video games. and Some people call it escapism. But then I try to preface the statement that I'm a gamer by stating that I don't watch television. So that's that's my form of entertainment. Most people, their main form of entertainment is is to watch television and maybe they do a little bit of they play a little bit of uh, video games. Okay. Here comes the part where I justify mine. I play video games <sighs> Not so much for escapism. I'm not gonna lie that it is escapism. It's it's my hiding spot. It's where I go. <laughs> I get to save the world, or be the bad guy, or be the good guy. That's not exactly saving the world, but you're saving this situation, whatever. But uh, yeah, I you get to versus television. I can't say versus reading or versus going outside to do an outdoor activity or anything like that. I can say versus television. There's interaction going on. I have to actually think about what I'm doing. Uh, there's uh, y You need your abstract problem solving skills. A lot of video games are, are puzzle games and now with advanced AI technology in the video games even if it's just a shoot 'em up you still have to be more tactical which requires abstract problem solving skills because you know that if I do this a certain way it's not gonna work how do you know because you just died three or four times trying it <laughs> back scratcher Aha! <laughs> Most people would edit this out, but it's only a 10 minute show, so. <laughs> oh. Anyway, video games. I, uh. I'm not trying to defend escapism. I'm just trying to defend the form of escapism I have chosen for myself. <laughs> Versus television, not versus anything else. Like I said, I don't watch television. I do watch movies every once in a while. But, I mean, I prefer to be able to interact with what I'm doing. There's a storyline going on. So it's not, it's not completely uninvolved. And sometimes you're just playing the video game aspect just to get to the rest of the story. So a uh, video game that actually has really cool gameplay that ties in to the story that's bonus to the story because the storyline in, in a video game is called lore well I like lore 
I will play a video game just to search for the lore and so you get a better understanding of the video game. You can't really do that watching TV. Everything's presented to you. It's a fall asleep and watch kind of thing. And yeah, I just, yeah, there's nothing in TV that I find entertaining anymore. I just don't. I can't watch the news because you don't know if they're telling the truth. Because they'll, something will come on the news and then everyone will go digging. Now that we have the internet, everyone will go digging and find out that, well, what they said on the news was bullshit. So, you can't trust the news. So, I don't watch the news. I mean, l local stories like so-and-so wrecked their car and is in the hospital. You can't really lie about that. But something that happened on the other side of the country or on the other side of the world, yeah, there's... There's no real way to find out if that's the truth or not. I mean, how hard would it be to set up cameras and, and have people act like that's what's going on? wouldn't take much. I mean, if, you, if it's believable in a movie, I bet you they can make it believable as a news story. Matter of fact, there was a... Uh, I can't remember where they were, but they weren't here. Some country in Europe they faked a news story and then released it and all of the American news outlets ran it as a real story and then that the, the European news uh, the European company that made that footage came out and said it was fake but instead of admitting they were wrong because they had all these experts verify the footage over here in the states instead of saying oh we were wrong and yeah, we, we kind of screwed up. They impugned their honor for releasing this bad footage and it's wrong of you to do that. And now you've undermined our authority and blah, 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 blah. Dude, no, you said you authenticated this and verified it with, uh, 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 not professionals, what do they say? Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? It's not professional. It's, uh, Experts, that's what it is. You had experts verify the validity of, of, of the footage and the authenticity of the footage. And then it turns out that they, point blank, yeah, we, we, we made that. And instead of saying, oops, yeah, maybe we didn't do the digging we said we did, they said, well, you're going to undermine our authority as a media outlet. Uh. <laughs> But see, that's what you get from TV. Video games, it happens the way it happens. You get your puzzles. You have to think. You have to actually use your brain to get through certain situations. I, 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 I feel like I'm apologizing for playing video games, but I guess I'm just justifying my form of escapism. <laughs> Which doesn't really need justification. But it is my opinion that out of all of the forms of escapism, be it drinking, drugs, uh, television, uh, reading books, I would say the two best forms of escapism would be reading books and playing video games. And not just... Silly, and I guess they're none of them are silly because all video games that I have come across take some type of skill, some type of thought process, some type of problem solving skill, whether it's mundane or abstract or what have you. You still have to have problem solving skills to get through a certain situation. So, and reading a book that just helps to expand the imagination. Among other things, I mean, because when you, I, when I read a book, I'm there, I'm in the book. I'm, if I'm not part of the story, like some writers like to make you part of the story, that you're not just watching it, <laughs> or maybe you like to just pretend you are the the good guy, bad guy, whatever. But I'm there. I'm I'm smelling the leaves. I'm I'm feeling the breeze they're talking about, you know. And I can see the car accident, and the people shooting, and to me, that's that's no different than a video game. So I guess in the more in-depth the video game, you get to be in awe 
of the, the, the just the level of creativity of the people that wrote the story, the people that designed the art, and the people that implemented that art into the game, and how it comes together. Making a video game is an art in itself. Not to mention the graphics. Oh my god, somebody had to draw the, a picture of that first, and then somebody else had to take that two-dimensional picture and make it a three-dimensional object within the game. And some of these games are just so beautifully done, it's just, yeah. So, my favorite escape, well, my favorite form of escapism is video games. It's actually reading, but all my books are in storage in Michigan, and I live in Arizona. So, I'm left with my video games. So, yeah. Why don't you leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite form of escapism is. <laughs> Mine is video games and reading. Alright. Anyway, if you liked the video, go ahead and click the like button, please. And uh, I wouldn't imagine you favorite a 10 minute video about video games, but if you'd like to, go ahead. <laughs> but if you'd like to see the main show, if you subscribe to this video, you can st you will be subscribed to the main channel, which is Greetings. Uh, whether or not you like the sound of my voice, I don't know. If you've watched the other videos, you'd get the reference. Anyway, uh, I don't know what to say to end this. <laughs> it's not the main show, but I'll do it anyway, in the same vein that I you normally do. Until next time. You hang in there.